Preparing food aid in Kharkiv. Ukraine's counteroffensive has presented these seasoned volunteers with a new challenge. We're activating all of our forces in order to start sending aid to the deoccupied territories. So all of this stuff is on the starting blocks, as it were, waiting for permission for us to go there. Tentative security clearance comes the following morning. But along the road, the convoy is told to wait several times as soldiers hesitate to let it through. When we arrive, it's not hard to understand why. They've been shelling for four days. Everyone's afraid. Incoming rockets, bombing, shooting. But what can we do? We just have to endure it. Ukrainian forces took back Kupyansk on the 10th of September. Residents had long had no phone connection or access to media. We don't even know what's happening 100 metres away. So it was a shock to see the Ukrainian army arrive. It was a surprise. But we believe in them. For some, the surprise is clearly a huge relief. Your heroes. Your heroes, you waited for us. I can't tell you how happy I am that we've managed to bring you this aid and also these flags that will warm your hearts instead of those Russian tricolours everywhere. Others, though, are just nervous, alarmed by the violence the liberation has brought. Ukrainian forces in this area still trying to push the Russian army further back across the Oskil River, which cuts through Kupiansk, a town that clearly cannot yet be considered a consolidated gain for Ukraine in the way that, for example, Izum or Balaklia further to the west can.